Hi, my name is Swapnil. I'm the CEO and co-founder of TherapyBox. TherapyBox are the makers of Predictable App. It is a communication app, especially built for those who've got good cognition, but they've lost the ability to speak. So the users tend to be those with ALS or MND, CP, MS, and those with learning disabilities. Today, I'm particularly excited to talk to you about the upcoming feature in iOS 18. Apple had announced last month that they are launching a new version of their operating system. It should be available in October for most devices. Now, I've got a beta version on my iPhone. You can get that on your iPad or iPhone as well. Once you're on it, we can look at a range of new features that they are launching. I am particularly excited about this feature called Vocal Shortcuts. It is built for those who have got dysarthria of speech. So the objective of this particular feature is to allow users to reliably reproduce productions, to train the system, and then you associate an action to it, and then you can produce that particular production, the device will recognize it and take the action. Now that's the theory. Let's put it through its paces and see how well it does. So I've got iOS 18 on my iPhone. I simply tap on the device settings. I go on to accessibility, and then scroll down to vocal shortcuts. I tap to get started. And you can see there are a load of different actions to pick from. I'm going to pick something quite basic to fire up the camera. Now, I'm not a person with dysarthric speech, so I'm going to give it a production like one. 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 There you go. My first production is already trained and ready to go. I'm going to add second and third production as well. This time I'm going to do a Siri request. So I'm going to say launch predictable app. There we have it. Now it's going to ask me what should I name the phrase or the production. I'm going to call it two. 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 There you go. I've done my second production. The third one I'm going to associate with going to home screen. And this time, no surprises there, I'm going to call it a three. 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 There you go. Now, that was as simple as that to record my three different productions, vocalizations, shortcuts, whatever you want to call it. Now, the moment of truth. Let's see if I say one, does it take us to camera? One. Two. Okay, that's worked. Let's try one again. One. Three. Homes work. So two out of three. One. One. Three. Two. One. Excellent. So you can see it's caught on and it's done brilliantly well. In my view, I think the recording process was really straightforward. The training process was pretty straightforward. It was not um, very demanding, just three samples of each of my productions. And then off I went. I started recognizing, as you can see, it took me a couple of goes to work it out. But after that, it was pretty good. I think the, effic the efficacy of this particular recognition is high. And the ease and simplicity is also very, very good. I think Apple have done a brilliant job on vocal shortcuts and I would love to hear what you think and what your experience is. So if you'd like to share your thoughts, please do get in touch with us. Info at therapy-box.co.uk. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Bye.